Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video uh, we've got another collaboration with the AutoCAD blog in my 2 Minute Tuesday Tuesday Tip series. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the multiple command. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to the full article. Uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I also wanted to mention that my AutoCAD productivity webinar is out and live now. In case you guys haven't checked it out, I'll put a link up above and in the description as well. Uh, subscribers and viewers to the channel as well as blog readers can get a discount for a limited time. Uh, I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. It's an hour long video that's packed full of tips, tricks, and workflows that are going to save you time and make you more productive in AutoCAD. Uh, well, let's get into today's video and check out the multiple command. Mm. So if you've already read the AutoCAD article, you'll know where we're going with this. If not, uh, I'm going to do a quick explanation of what the multiple command is and how it works. So to use the multiple command, it's as easy as typing in multiple and hitting enter. And what it's going to do is create a loop or a repeat of whatever command you enter afterwards. So in the example we're going to go through right now, we're going to type in multiple and at the enter it asks you for a command to repeat. We're going to use the insert command and in our drawing which we've got just a basic floor plan we're going to insert a uh, lighting fixture. So I'm going to choose the lighting fixture block which is already in our drawing. We're going to leave all of these settings here so we're going to choose our insertion point and keep our scale to the default and we're simply going to place it somewhere. So you can see each time I place it, it simply repeats the command, bringing up the insert again. So you can make this go quite a bit faster than you normally would by just simply clicking, hitting enter, clicking, hitting enter. This is also going to save you time if each time your block comes in, it asks for attributes, you're going to be able to enter those and then repeat the process. This saves a few steps, but in general, this is just a good command to know within AutoCAD because you can take advantage of it in a lot of different cases. Some commands like the line command will continue to repeat automatically, but commands like the circle command, when you enter it and place a circle, it's just gonna end the command at one circle. If you need to create a multiple, uh, multiple circles in your drawing, you can start off with the multiple command and then type in circle or C for circle. From there, I can simply click and create a circle, and it's just going to repeat, so I can create as many as I want in the loop. That's it for the multiple command. It's super simple. If you guys want to see a little bit more detail, as well as the full blog, check out the link in the description. Uh, I've gone into this example, as well as a little bit more. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD webinar. Uh, it's packed full of productivity tips and workflows that I know you guys are going to enjoy and there's a limited time discount for all the viewers of this video. So the link will be in the description below uh, as well as I'll have it up top here somewhere. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.